First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who grew well and whom I'm constantly learning 100% truth from. This is for the whole free elect of Israel, which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, you speckled birds that scattered across the four corners of the earth that's mingled within the other nations that may look like the other nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage from your father's side go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks about. about. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah means he, Hawa, he to be, he exists. Name was only begot, begotten Son, first spirit created, which is our Lord and Savior, our Redeemer. It's Yahweh Shai. Yah means he, Hawa Shai, the Savior, the Deliverer. Bahashem in the name of Holy Spirit, Rakat Kadash. That's Paleo Hebrew. Again. Our uh, praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakat, Rakat Kodash. And um, this is based on this uh, entry I'm putting, putting, putting in right now. It's based on a you know when you see the wickedness that's going on with Esau, even so-called white men, that's that's in Job 9, 24, that's ruling right now. They came back from the ancient Roman Empire. This is the fourth wicked kingdom that will be destroyed. When you see what this devil has been doing, it only makes you angry, but it excites you because it, it, it makes you Go to the precepts. You know. When you're seeing how you, you're being poisoned with the food. When you're seeing how you've been poisoned with the air, with the water. Everything this devil does is it, it, it detriment for your survival here because it was set up like that by him through Yah Bashim house because of, we went off in our sins. You know, we turned our back from the Heavenly Father Yahweh. You know, so now we come to the time where our curses is at an end, and also Esau kingdom is at an end. You know, and he knows it. So let's get to it. Let's go to Psalm 64 and 6. And it reads, Psalm 64 and 6, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search. Both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep. You know, so they did all the searching. They didn't search out everything about us. You know, every time you go to an appointment or something, they snap that blood out of you. Guess what? They're looking for antibodies and everything else that can attack your system. In any, any kind of way, they weaponize everything, okay? NLT, and they plot their crimes. They say, we have devised a perfect plan. Yeah, yes, the humble heart and mind are cunning. He saw eat them. So don't get it twisted, Jake. Don't get it twisted. You know, that's why we rely on Yahweh by some Yahweh side. For everything, we rely on our Lord, Yahweh. By our Heavenly Father Yahweh, by our Heavenly Yahweh side, okay? You have to. That's the only way we still alive right now. With the food we, we're eating, is Oh, man. <laughs> With the food we're eating, it's just, you know, Ezekiel. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel 4. Four chapter and nine verse. <laughs> it 
in the reeds. Take thou also to thee wheat, and this is uh, the siege of uh, Jerusalem predicted, you know, and this is a uh, prophecy you know, that happened back then, you know. It says here at the top and the head of the siege of Jerusalem pre predicted. I must, you know, what, I'm gonna start from the first verse. Thou also, son of man, take thee a tie and lay it between thee and portray upon it the city, even Jerusalem, and lay siege against it and build a fort against it and cast a mount against it, set the camp also against it and set, set battery rams against it round right about. Moreover, take, thee, take thou unto thee an iron pan and set it for a wall of iron between thee and the city. And set thy face against it, and it shall be beside, I mean, beside, besieged. Okay. And thou shalt lay siege against it. This shall be a sign to the house of Israel in the NLT. Then take an iron griddle and place it between you and the city. Turn toward the city and demonstrate how harsh the siege will be against Jerusalem. This will be a warning to the people of Israel. Okay. Verse 4. Light thou also upon thy left side, and lay the iniquity of the house of Israel upon it, according to the number of the other days that thou hast, that thou shalt lie upon it. Thou shalt bear their iniquity. Now lie on your left side and place the sins of Israel on yourself. You are to bear their sins for the number of days you lie there on your side. Verse 5. If I have laid upon thee the years of their iniquity, according to the number of the days, 390 days, so shalt thou bear the iniquity of the house of Israel. I am requiring you to bear Israel's sins for 390 days. One day for each year of their sins. Okay, six. And when thou hast accomplished them, lie again on thy right side. And thou shalt bear the iniquity of the house of Judah 40 days. I have appointed thee each day for a year. After that, turn over and lie on your right side for 40 days, one day for each year of Judah's sin. Verse 7, Therefore thou shalt set thy face toward the siege of Jerusalem, and thine arm shall be uncovered, and thou shalt prophesy against it. Meanwhile, keep staring at the siege of Jerusalem. Lie there with your arm bared, and prophesy her destruction. Verse 8, And behold, I will lay bands upon thee, and thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another. Till thou hast ended the day of thy siege, I will tie you up with rope so you won't be able to turn from side to side until the days of your siege have been completed. You know? Now here goes the point. That was doing, you know, taking away in captivity and, 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 uh, and you know, that was done to us by Yahweh by Shri Hanasai for falling away, turning, turning, turning our uh, face away from him. He turned his face away from us. You know? And the point is, uh, the ninth verse, Ezekiel 4 and 9, defile bread. You know, again, take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and fetches and put them in one vessel and make the bread thereof according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thy side 390 days shalt thou eat okay now go and get some wheat barley beans lentils millet and emon wheat and mix them together in the storage jar use them to make bread for yourself during the 390 days you would be lying on your side okay or ten, and thy meat which thou saw shall be by weight, twenty shekels a day. From time to time shalt thou eat it. Ration this out to yourself. Eight ounces of food for each day. You can eat it at set times. And if we're going to be rationed, okay? Verse 11, thou shalt drink also water by measure. This is part of a hand. From time to time shalt thou drink. Then measure out a jar of water for each day and drink it at set times. 
Let's see. Let's see what that that pen means. That this is measurement. I know that, so we're gonna see in the blue letter into linear. Okay. Strong's H, nineteen sixty nine. Heen. Heen. A unit of measure about five quarts. A vessel holding a hen of liquid. A heen of liquid. Okay, now you know what that means. And the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, which is all caps. Remember, you see, Lord in all caps, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Yah, he, Hawa, he is this, he be. He is, you know. Ezekiel 4 and 13, and the Lord Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the. Read that again, Ezekiel 4 and 13, the point. And the Lord Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I will drive them. And that was the point because the food that we eat, all of that stuff is not good for you. It's jacked up, pretty much. You really don't know. You got lab-grown food. You got they mix some. Man, look, they mix some pork with uh, uh, beef sausages. They're missing, and we don't even know if that sausage is real. You know, you don't even know if it's lab-grown meat. You don't know. That's why we have to rely on. The Heavenly Father, your heart one, and the, why your heart was shy. That's it. That's all we have. And that's all we need. You know, because this wicked devil is wicked, evil. He just searched out everything that has something to do with taking us away, blocking us from the Heavenly Father getting with it. Because they, they know that's our power. And once we come back, they know they're really, they're, they're done. They know they're done now. But they can't stop it. Psalms 10 and 2. It's like it's a book of Psalms, 10 chapter, second verse. And it reads, the wicked in his pride doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. The wicked arrogantly hunt down the poor. Let them be caught in the evil they plan for others. Verse 3, the wicked boasts of his heart's desire and blesses the covets, the covets, whom the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shemir, Yahweh, say, abhor, for they brag about their evil desires. They praise the greedy and curse the, curse the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shemir, Yahweh, say. Now see, that's what they do. Them and them other heathen nations, you know. They making money off of you. You go to the gas station, if people see you go to the gas station just to get a, if you get a orange juice, they automatically going to say, and it's all, the other heathen nations is running these gas stations, they automatically going to say, oh, he's going to get a Lucy or something. No, but that's what everybody used to. These heathens making money, killing you with their products through the so-called white man, he saw you, through his wickedness. He's making money, they're making money, and it's, they're all making money off the poor. All right? Verse 3, for the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blessed the covets, who the Lord Yahweh by Shemir Hamas had abhorred. Okay? Isaiah 26. And 10, Isaiah 26 and 10. Let favor be shown to the wicked. Who is the wicked? Job 9 24. He's the so called white man, he saw Edom. Britain, he need banking families. Let favor be shown to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of uprightness, he will deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Your kindness to the wicked does not make them do good. Although others do right, the wicked keep doing wrong and take no notice of the Heavenly Father's Yahweh majesty. And you see that today. You see that today. 
You know, that's why this place is crumbling. And it's his time he didn't overreach his, he, you know, he didn't reach his boundaries, you know. Now, see, you got, they done ran out of alphabets for these people. You see? These people confused in a confused state, in a wicked confused state. The two-thirds in the wicked confused state, they got to go with them. They're not going to make it. Went set up for that in the first place. It's through Yahweh. Everything is through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh side. Even us that can see that set up through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh side. Lord, what are one of those men that will make it out of here when that time comes? You know, if not, I'm still going to do what I need to do as far as doing this work. Whether I, whether I don't make it, my work gonna follow me. If I make it, that's even good. That's even cool, you know? But either way it goes, this place here, you best be on the right side. And that side that we're on, through Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh side was predestined. Predestinated, you know? How else can could you have come, could you have been called to this truth? But by Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh side. So we have to stay doing this, this work to the best of our ability and, and just keep it moving. Because this place is, is, is man, every day, it just, it's due. This, this place is done. And it's, it's been done for, you know, for a while. You know, do, you've been seeing everything play out through the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and teachers on down, the, the, the preceding these prophecies in living color, you see them every day. Every day, you see them. Okay, you seeing the things that these people do, these, but you got to keep going. You got to keep keep going. And then also, Jay trying to say uh, Esau, Edom, and the mother nation that that even the two thirds you can't you can't think like that. You can't think like that. And I'm gonna show, show you why. You know. You got a job to do. And so let me get it. Uh, get these people, you know, the, the, the devil is not going to do right. Isaiah 26 and 10. Let fear be sold to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness? In the land of uprightness, will he deal unjustly? And will not behold the majesty of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay? Now let's go down to uh, Jeremiah. 13, 23. Jeremiah 13, 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin or the leopard his spots? Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. Can an Ethiopian change the color of his skin? Can a leopard take away his spots? Neither can you start doing good, for you have always done evil. And the NLT, you, you heard it. That's self-explanatory, all right? So stop trying to say, the so-called white man, you saw Edom. The two-thirds, and everybody out there that's doing wicked and evil. That's why you try to stay away from that, that evil, that wickedness. What's the sense of it? Right? What's the sense of being... Constantly around that one going to be next to you. They're going to destroy you. Please, that's the 7 and 13. Consider the work of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. But who can make that straight? Which he hath made crook crooked. So, you know what? NLT explained it better. Except the way... Except the way Yahweh does things. But who can straighten what he has made crooked? Exactly. You can't change nothing. Who is you? Speech for itself. Okay. Malachi 1 and 4. The 
the burden of the word, start at first verse, the burden of the word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, to Israel by Malachi, the prophet Malachi. You know, that's what Jacob said. I have loved you, said the Lord Yah. This is what uh, 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 Jacob said to uh, Yah, 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 the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. You know, they think that he don't, because of what they've been going through, they don't know that he don't love them. Yeah, they do. They forgot. But they, you know, just listen. Malachi 1 and 2. I have loved you, said the Lord Yahweh. Yet ye say, Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said the Lord Yahweh? Yet I love Jacob. And you know, see, I have always loved you, said the Lord Yahweh, by the Yahweh, sir. But you retort, really. How have you loved us? And the Lord replies, This is how I showed my love for you. I love your ancestor, Jacob. See? And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. You know? But I rejected his brother Esau and devastated his hill country. I turned Esau's inheritance into a desert for the jackals. Okay? He let him know. You know? He let, he let him Jacob know. This is, you know, this is what I did for you. You know? Well, watch this. Verse 4. Whereas Edom said, we are in province, but we will return and build the desolate places. Return for what? Because we had them up on our foot. When we, uh, um, in the Holy Roman Empire, it wasn't nothing holy about it because they kept, you know, we kept the same ways as, as uh, 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 the Edomites. When they went up on our, our, our foot, so we were doing abominable things. Sitting like sitting and grinning, you know. But they was up on our foot. Again, whereas Edom said we are in province, but we would return and build the dust of the places. You know, when they return, you talking about when they came back in power again, you know, and they done that when they when they came out of that state. They started the iconic class and started covering the faces of the judges and everything else. You know, they start. That's why the language all jacked up. That's why they faces on everything. You know, that's why they call it themselves the, the you know the heavenly father and all of that madness. Okay, they've been calling themselves us. Where Edom said we are in province, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord Yahweh of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall cause them to border of wickedness. And the people against whom the Heavenly Father Yahweh have a nation forever. So they be talking, they, they talking, uh, uh, Esau, Edom, done away with. Well, not according to this scripture. Whereas Edom said, we are in Proverbs, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Heavenly Father, Yahweh of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness, wickedness and the people against whom the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, hath them the nation forever. Okay? And the indignation is hatred, you know? If you don't believe it, I'm going to show it to you, you know? Show you what indignation means. You know, for you, for you, people who love and love and love oppression. Strong's H2194. Zaam. Zaam. To denounce, express indignation, be in indignant. To have indignation, be indignant, be angry, indignant, be defiant, to be abhorred, to express indignation in speech, denounce, curse. To show indignation, show anger. Indignation, defy, abhor, angry, abominable. All right? That's indignation, okay? So stop trying to save Esau, even the so-called devil, the so-called white man, rather. Stop trying to save him. Okay? Can't be done. And if you try, you're going to be done. Ezekiel. 
1 and 3. The word of the Lord came especially, the word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Father, Shem, Yahweh, so I'll cap, came especially to Ezekiel the priest. I think that's right. Ezekiel 1. Wait a minute. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Is it lucky? But let's go to uh. Okay, Ezekiel 35 and one, start at the first verse. And the head of said, prophecy, prophecy, prophecy against Mount Seir, which is Esau, Edom, so-called white man. Ezekiel 35 and one, moreover, the word of the Heavenly Father, Jehovah, came unto me and Unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And say unto it, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, Power, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, thou shalt be des you know, thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the only Father Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, okay? And let's see, it says, Yeah, in the NLT, I will do. Demolish your city and make you desolate, which you will know that I am the Heavenly Father Yahweh. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Your eternal hatred for the people of Israel led you to butcher them when they were helpless. When I had already punished them for all their sins. Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, I will, I will prepare thee into blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make my seer most desolate, and cut off from it him that passeth out, and him that returneth. Okay? So. You still trying to say, so called white man, Esau, Edom? Get out of that because his time has come. His time has come, all right? Second answers. Eight and one. You have to read from the seventh chapter uh, in the Apocrypha, second essence, to get the full understanding of what's going on and what's taking place. You know, let me, let me see.
And you know, and this, you know, you, you, Esau, the heathen nations, and the two thirds ain't gonna make it. You know, it's not gonna make it. I must let me start at this second at the second seventh chapter. It's not the twentieth verse. But there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh that is set before them. For the Heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh have given straight commandments to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Nevertheless, they were not obedient unto them, but spake against him and imagined vain things, and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds, and said unto the Most High, that he is not, and knew not his ways. But his law have they despised and denied his covenants. And his statutes have they not been faithful and have not performed his works. Okay? Now we're going to go to the eighth, you know, because that's the two thirds. You know, they didn't want to listen, you know, they kept stepping. You know, but it's coming a time where. They're going to wish they had, all right? Second, this is 8 and 1. And this is the, uh, uh, this is how I asked Uriel to, uh, a question. And this is how the, 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 the Heavenly Father asked him. He said, uh, and he asked me, saying, The Most High have made this world for many, but the world to come for a few. Okay, because on to the third verse, there be many created. A few will be saved. Why is that? Because they didn't listen, you know? And it's not for everybody. It's only for the elect. Only for the elect of Israel. You know? Second Ezra's 8 and 50. Going down to the 50th verse. And it reads, for many great mysteries shall be done to them that in the latter times shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. But understand thou for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. You know, so if you, if, if, if you have a body, some of your so I open up your eyes, you know, and you, with, you know, with brothers that's in the truth, mainly, you know, uh, uh, supper, you know, but these lessons to uh, uh, these the caps, the GMS, you know, preferably, because they had a truth, one hundred percent, right? But understand that for thyself, and seek out the glory for such as be like thee. For until you is paradise open, the tree of life is planted, the time to come is prepared, plenty in this is made ready, a city is built, and rest is allowed. Yeah, perfect goodness and wisdom. All right. You know, so you got to stay and get get wet and stay with the you know the, with the uh, brothers that's teaching, and you constantly learning and doing these this this work. You know, and I, I speak for me first and foremost. Everything that I bring out, I speak to me first and foremost. Goes to me. For me. Okay. Now let's go down to the 55, 55th verse. And this is what he says, told, tells uh, Ezra. And therefore ask them, ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Okay. For when they have taken liberty, they despise, they despise the Most High Yahweh, thought scorn of his law to scorn us, and forsook his, forsook his ways. Moreover, they have tried down his righteous, that's the prophets, and said in their heart that there is no power, yeah, and that knowing that they must die. For as Things aforesaid shall receive you, so thirst and pain I prepare for them. For, for it was not his will that men should come to naught. But they which be created have defiled the name of him that made them, 
and were unthankful unto him that prepared life for them. And therefore, it's, thy, it's, it's my judgment not at hand. Okay? These things have I not sold unto all men, but unto thee, and a few like thee. Then as I said, Behold, O Lord, how, O Yahweh, how, I mean, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last days, but at what time thou hast not showed me. Okay. Where am I at? It's not the verse six. Second answer is nine and six. Even as uh, even so, the times also. Wait a minute. Wrong place. Second answer eight and fifty five. It's a lot. It's a lot good. All right, uh, 2nd Ezra 8 and 55. And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. Okay. I mean, I read that. 2nd uh, Ezra 9 and 13. Go down in here. And it reads, And therefore be that now curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Okay? So instead of worrying about uh, uh, how how other, you know, the wicked going to be saved, rather, worry about yourself, you know? How you going to make it out of here? They can't save you, you know? Only your heart was shot. But you, you have to be predestinated. You know the scope. You know the rules, you know? Not to your heart was shot, but you have to... Don't worry about how you got to try to worry about how you're going to make it out of here. You know, you saw can't be saved. None of them. Two thirds. You got to worry about yourself and do and doing the things that you need to do so you can have a chance. You know. All right. Second like, just nine. Let's go to. Uh, Tenth verse, second like Ezra nine and ten verse again for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have loathed my law while they yet had liberty, and when as yet a place of repentance was opened unto them, understood it not, but despised it. Verse twelve, the same must know it after death. By pain, and that connects right down, and therefore, be that now curious how the ungodly shall be punished, and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. All right. Second Ezra six fifty six. I'm almost done. And it reads. You know, since everybody trying to say the so-called white man, he's our eater in the Richie Lee Bacon family. This is this is this is for you. That's for the other people which also come from Adam that has said that they are nothing. Let me read that again. Second answer six and fifty-six. As for the other people which also come from come of Adam, thou hast said they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. And be like unto spittle, you know you you want it out, you know. It's it's a it's a nasty feeling when you got to hog it up and spit it out. You know, you want it out out of your system, all right? Poison. It's nothing. It's to be discarded. That's for the other people, which also come of Adam, that has said that they are nothing but be like unto spittle, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Okay, that's the other nations. 
All right. I see a 45 in. And four. I see a 45 and four, and it reads, For Jacob, my servant's sake in Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name, I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. That's all of Israel. He surnamed them. Who? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by his son, Yahweh, sir. Right? He didn't surname Edom, Moab, Ammon, none of them surnamed us. Verse 4, NLT, and why have I called you for this work? Why did I call you by name when ye did not know me? It is for the sake of Jacob, my servant, Israel, my chosen one. Okay? So then you know he chose Israel. Southern and other kingdoms, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Okay? And you speckled birds, that's included. The, the letters go back to your father's side, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The elect of Israel. And ultimately, Israel is going to be saved, period. It's just going to have to be reborn back in the kingdom. Through the loins of the 144,000 elect men, women, you know, children. Romans 8. And this will be it. This will be it. Romans 8. 34 verse. And it reads. Who is he that condemned it? It is Hamashiach that died. Yeah, rather, that is risen again. Who is even at the right hand of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Who also make an intercession for us. Who then will condemn us? No one. For Hamashiach Yahweh died for us and was raised to life for us. And he is sitting in the place of honor, in the place of honor of the Heavenly Father Yahweh's right hand, pleading for us. Pleading for who? The elect of Israel. Verse 35. Who shall separate us? from the love of Yahweh Sahamashiach, which is the anointed. Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword. Can anything ever separate us from Yahweh Sahamashiach's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or are persecuted or hungry or destitute, or in danger, or threatened with death. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are counted, are counted as sheep for the slaughter. As the scripture says, for your sake, we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. Nay, which is no, in all these things, we are more than conquerors. Through him that loved us. And LT, no, despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Yahweh Sahab Mashiach, who loved us, okay, the elect. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, and they'll cheat. For I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from the Heavenly Father Yahweh's love, neither death, nor life, neither angels, nor demons, neither our fears for the day, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from the Heavenly Father Yahweh's love. Okay? For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Heavenly Father Yahweh, which is in uh, Hamashiach Yahweh's side, our Lord. Okay? No power in the sky above the earth, above or in the earth below indeed. Nothing in all creation will be able to 
separate us from the love of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. That's revealed in Yahweh Shahamashiach, our Lord and Savior. Okay? So, no, the heathen nations ain't gonna make it. So called white man, Esau, Edom, Bishop, and Lee, Bacon, Fathers ain't gonna make it. Two thirds, I'm not gonna make it. And Lord willing, I'll make it. Lord willing. Lord willing, the true believers, we all make it. But that's what our hope is in. Our hope is in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Right? Not this world, not Esau, Edom, not these other nations, not the two thirds. Only, we are only focused on this truth and on doing the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh. Right? And with that, Salaam.